Hey, this is Deeksha from Bonsai Labs. Today we are going to look at how you can add material icons inside your React app using Material UI library. These free material icons from Google have been designed so that you can give a visual cue for common actions to your end users. To demonstrate how this freely available material icons library can be leveraged, let's head on to the code sandbox. Let's choose the official React sandbox, which has everything set up for experimentation purposes. Then add a dependency for material UI icons. We will select the latest one. This package gives you access to the Google material icons as React components so that you can directly use them within your app. Now, these React components underneath use a material UI component called SVG icon that renders the SVG path of every icon. So you also need to add a peer dependency of material UI to be able to use these icon components. If you're already using Material UI in your project, all you need is this Material UI icons library. We bootstrapped this project from scratch, so I will add both of them. Let's replace this template heading in our app.js to Material Icons demo. And this H2 heading with our text, let's start adding beautiful Material Icons. Now, suppose you want to use this Home icon, we will go back to the project and add an import for home icon from at material UI slash icons. Now, as you type this slash, it'll give you the options of icons available. Let's say we want to use home two-tone icon. We can now simply add this home icon component, just like you would use any other React component in the project. As you can see, we have the icon rendered. As far as the styling and other customizations for this material icon component is concerned, you can always refer to the API of this SVG icon component in Material UI. I told you in the beginning that these icon components are built using SVG icon component. This is what I was referring to. These are the props available to you on all these material icons. Let's say we want to change the color of the icon. These are the possible values you can assign. If you're using your own material theme with Material UI, then this primary will refer to the primary color of your theme. Same is true with secondary. It refers to the secondary color of your theme. Let's go back to the code base and change the color. We add the prop color and its value primary. It turns the icon into purple color. Well, if you're thinking where is this color coming from, Material UI library has a default theme configured already. And this is the primary color in their theme. If you change it to secondary, its color is changed. Now let's say you don't want the default primary or secondary color from their theme, and instead you want to use your own color without having to worry about creating your own theme, which by the way is not recommended, but if you really have a valid use case to do so, then you can achieve that by adding the inline styles using this style prop. We will then add the color. Let's say we want green color, you can see it turns the icon to green. Another thing that might be helpful for you is to find a way how to search and map these icons. It'll be a time saver for you during development. So coming back to the material icons page, let's say we want to add a delete icon and it should be this delete forever icon whose name is delete underscore forever. So how do you go and find this in material UI icons library in the code base? Well, in the code, we will do import delete icon from at material UI slash icons. And now we will look for delete forever component, which is right here. The names you see on the Google materials icon page will be available in camel case in this icons library. And we have the delete forever icon available here. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope it was useful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.